We've been working on adding two add-ins that have a sum greater than 100. We are gonna continue that work today, but today we are going to regroup. So we'll talk about what regrouping means in just a few minutes. Let's review what we talked about yesterday. Each flat represents 100, each rod represents a 10, and each single unit represents a one. So I start by representing each add-in. 348 can be shown as three hundreds, four tens, and eight ones. 134 can be shown as 100, three tens, and four ones. So now adding means to combine like values. So I'm going to combine the ones, the tens, and the hundreds. I have eight tens up here, I'm sorry, eight ones right here, and I am combining four ones. Eight ones plus four ones is 12 ones. I've got four tens plus three tens. Four tens plus three tens is seven tens, but that's worth 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And I've got three hundreds plus one hundred, which is four hundreds, which is worth 100, 200, 300, 400. So I've got 470 and 12 ones. I can't squeeze those digits together and say that the sum is 4, 7, 12. I am 10 or more in my ones place. So I am going to have to regroup by making a bundle of 10 ones. So I'm going to move two ones up here to make a complete 10. This is still equal to 12. This is 10 plus two. 10 plus two is still 12. I just moved them to make a bundle or group of 10. This is called regrouping. So I am going to take my bundle of 10 ones and I'm going to exchange it for a 10. So I'm going to get rid of 10 ones and I'm going to exchange it for one 10. These are equal values. This is just like 10 $1 bills is equal to one $10 bill. So my 400s didn't change, but my seven tens did. I don't have seven tens anymore. I have an extra 10. So I have eight tens, which is worth 80. And I don't have 12 ones anymore. I regrouped 10 ones and exchanged them for a 10. And so I have two ones left. So I've got 482. So my sum is 482. So let's look and see what this looks like with drawings. Yesterday, we organized our drawings with our hundreds, tens, and ones chart. We'll do the same thing here. I made sticks to represent my tens because those are pretty quick, and I made dots to represent my ones. So I showed 348. 348. And then I represented 134, so I have 134. 134. So let's combine our like values. I've got four ones, I'm sorry, eight ones plus four ones, which is 12 ones. Four tens plus three tens, which is seven tens, which is 70, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. And I've got 300 plus 100, which is 400. So now I'm going to create a bundle of 10 ones because I need to exchange here. I've got I've got 10 or more ones. So that means that I need to make a group of 10 ones and exchange them for a 10. So I've gotten rid of 10 little ones. I took the two ones from down here and added them to my eight to get 10. And I've exchanged them for one 10. I'm left with two ones and I've exchanged them with one 10. So what I did with 12 is I broke apart or I decomposed 12 into 10 plus two. 10 plus two is 12, so there's my 10 rod and there's my two ones. I already had 70 and I already had 400. So now let's combine our like values. 400 stayed the same. I didn't have any new com combination there. We didn't exchange or regroup to get new hundreds. 
but I don't have seven tens anymore. I now have eight tens. So I've got to add my 70 plus my extra 10, which is 80. And I now no longer have 12 ones, I have two ones. So my sum is 482. Let's look at this with expanded form, if you would like to solve it with expanded form. Eight ones plus four ones is 12 ones. 40 plus 30 is 70. And 300 plus 100 is 400. I see that I need to decompose 12 into a 10 and two ones. So let's add it with our like values. I see tens and tens. Let's add 70 plus 10 to get 80. I still have two ones and I still have 400. So I get 482, the same sum, 482. Doesn't matter which way you solve it, both of these will get you to that same answer with place value. Let's do one more problem. Let's do the problem 363 plus 78. I'm going to set my place value chart up. I'm going to just go ahead and abbreviate O, T, and H for ones, tens, and hundreds. And now I'm going to show 363. 363. Now I'll do 78. I have no hundreds, so there's no hundreds there. But I have seven tens. And I have eight ones. So no hundreds, seven tens, and eight ones. Now let's combine our like values. Eight ones plus three ones is 11 ones. Six tens plus seven tens, ooh, that's a lot. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. That's a lot. And then I've got three hundreds. So I've got 300 plus 130 plus 11. We need to do some bundling. I have more than 10 ones, so I am going to create a bundle of 10 ones. I'm gonna take the three up here, and I'm gonna add it to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10, so that I've made a group of 10. And I'm going to exchange those 10 ones for a 10 rod, and I'm only left with one little one. So what I did with 11 is I broke apart 11 into a 10 and a 1. So now, I do not have 130. I added 10 more. So 130 plus 10 more is now 140. I still have 300s. Nothing's changed yet there. And I only have one 1. So now let's look at our tens. We have way too many tens. Anytime you have 10 or more of the same thing, we can regroup and bundle and exchange. So let's come over here and let's make a group of 10 tens. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 tens. When I put 10 tens together, I get 100. I can cross out my 10 tens and I'm left with four tens and I've exchanged them for 100. So we just broke apart 140 into 100, there's our 100, and 40, there's our 40. We still have one one, that hasn't changed. But now let's combine our like values. We've got 300 and 100, so we've got 300 plus 100. 300 plus 100 gives us 400. We've got one, two, three, four tens, which is worth 40, and we have one one. So we get the sum of 441. Let's look at this with expanded form. Three plus eight is 11 ones. 60 plus 70 is 130, and 300 plus zero is 30. I'm gonna break apart 11 and a 10 plus one. 
I've got to combine my like values. So I just regrouped and exchanged. I grouped together 10 ones and exchanged them for a 10. So I now have 140. But look at that 140. I can break apart 140 into 100 plus 40. If I combine like values, I get 300 plus 400. I'm sorry, 300 plus 100, which is 400. And then I have 40 plus one. I get the exact same answer by solving it this way. Today, you're going to practice regrouping a group of 10, either 10 tens for 100 or 10 ones for a 10, and you're going to exchange those. You can use pictures or you can use expanded form.